Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, starting at verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings with twain. He covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. I'm going to stop there for a minute. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? How the Lord will lay his hand on you, single you out, knowing where you came from you knowing where you came from now this is something i notice that happens oftentimes in life help me lord there are times that the manifestation of god in our life happens after a major tragedy a major loss king uzziah had just died and isaiah saw the Lord. Now, what kind of things do we sometimes have to lose in order to see the Lord? How many relationships have to be broken or people have to die like King Uzziah died? We may lose a child, a loved one, husband, brother, sister, mother, father, best friend. And then the heartache will sometimes drive us to our knees, won't it? We'll either go to God with a complaint or with a sorrowful cry. But either way, something happens in our lives that triggers a manifestation of God in our life. And we start to see God in a whole nother light, a whole different light. And sometimes in the midst of our pain, he becomes real to us, doesn't he? Then our hearts are drawn closer. And as we seek God for his mercy, God touches us and our sins are forgiven. And we have a brand new start. And then as our heart pants for God, he calls our name. And he lays an opportunity in front of us to see if we would want to do that or not for the Lord. And the thing I love about God is no matter what the background No matter what people know about you, what reputation you have ruined,
God says, okay, my child, go. I will use you. Now, sometimes we want to go and do great exploits for the Lord. But God first does a process in us. And he's still using us. Because while we go through the process, people are watching. And we become an eyewitness, an example to God's glory. And people look at us with amazement. Is that the same person that, you know, wow, when God got through with them, look at the change. God will use you in mighty ways. All I say is be encouraged. Go to God in your loss, in your time of pain, and watch what he will do. Seek him for his mercy, for his forgiveness, for his purpose in your life. And watch yourself unfold in the love of God's hand. I hope that encourages you. Major loss is discouraging. But God's showing up in our lives. Oh, how invigorating that is. Draw close to him now in your pain and watch him work. God bless you.